is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? And welcome back to it again, another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger. Now, in today's video, you see the title, you see the thumbnail. Why do I say, you know, watch this before you bag your car? <laughs> this video right here is just going to be a little bit of an informational video. For those of you who don't really know that much about bags, you're on the fence of either bagging your car or not bagging your car. This is the video for you. So let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into it. What is good, y'all? You dig? Welcome back to yet again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. You dig? but five main things that I've picked up along the way um, of having my car bagged. This is my first year having a bagged car, so these are just the five things that I've picked up while, you know, having my car on bags. So, coming in high at number one, man, always keep you some extra airline. Um, you never know, all right? And with, especially if you have luck like I do, when I first picked up my car, and my fiance can attest to this. When I first picked up my car from getting bags, literally 30 minutes into the drive, the passenger bag blew, right? Um, but at the moment, we didn't know that it was the bag. We thought it was one of the airlines had got nicked or cracked or, or you know, poked or something like that. And there was like a baby hole, you know, the reason uh, causing the exhaust leak. So when I called my, you know, guy who installed them for me, <laughs> like oh yeah bro i got you don't worry i got some airline with me um and i'm on my way to you so rule number one man just always have some airline on you bro even though it was the bag that blew you never know when you're gonna need some so always have some airline on you now rule number two man things to watch out for bro i had no idea that there was this thing called a water trap um, that you get when you get your bags. It literally looks like an oil cash can, a little baby oil cash can um, with a little nozzle at the bottom. And basically what this does, it's in the name. It's a water trap. It traps all the water that's in your tank um, and keeps it out of your airlines and stuff like that. So please remember to empty that because if it gets full, it can start backing up um in the airlines itself and then eventually start messing up your management so make sure make sure make sure you check that you dig um, third whenever you're getting into um building your trunk setup just make sure you don't rush it you know what i mean because when it comes to doing trunk setups from what i've um experienced working with my guy kashik on my trunk if you rush it, you know what I mean? This is something that you're you're doing off your head. Now, if you have a template, that's different. But if you're doing like a full custom, like never seen it before, never seen before a trunk setup, just make sure you don't rush. Take your time and be sure, be sure. I repeat, bro, like this is the most important part of the trunk setup. Be sure to mount your tank right side up because if you mount it upside down or sideways or anything like that, the compressor can definitely start to short out, it'll tweak out, and it'll shorten the longevity of the compressor's life. You know what I mean? Because you got it working 30 times harder because it's not sitting right. Um, and then number four. Number four is gonna have to be, bro, just watch your front struts. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. As you guys have seen multiple times my, where my collar has come unlocked and the bag has been spinning itself, bro. Just honestly, watch your collars, bro. To be honest, it makes the maintenance of your suspension, like it raises it up. Just be sure, you know, when you're checking like your fluids or something like that, to go over your suspension, just look it over one time and make sure everything's straight, everything's how it's supposed to be, and you should be kosher. Now, the fifth thing, um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, this is like completely personal preference. 
I have a single compressor setup. I'm gonna be honest, it fills the tank, I wanna say in like 11 to 10 minutes. It's not that bad. However, just be ready for the noise of the vibration from the compressor. So I'll go ahead and put my car down. The compressor is not gonna kick on until it goes under 140. So like if it's in the 130 range, um, it'll kick on, but I'm gonna go ahead and go up for the video purposes. So you hear that? So basically it takes about 10 to 11 minutes, if that, um, to fill up the tank. It's a five gallon tank. Um, now why I'm seeing, why I'm talking about the compressor at all is because you could have the option to go single or dual tank setup. Now, if you go dual tank setup, it definitely, I've heard that it fills up the tank in like five minutes and you're good. But if you are not able to deal with that, this right here is probably gonna be the quietest you can get your compressor to be. My compressor is mounted in the back next to the battery on top of some sound deadening cloth um, that's in between it and the chassis of the car and it's literally mounted up to the car. So this is the most minimal amount of compressor noise that you get whenever you bag your car. So I'm just letting you guys know, you know, things that are actually important, you know, when you're bagging your car, man. Because when I went into getting bags and got my car bagged and stuff like that, I had no idea about the water trap. I had no idea where to go to get airlines. So like along the lines of having airline handy, another thing is like, bro, just make sure you know who locally sells airline because there's no, like, you can't just go to AutoZone and get a quarter foot of airline. You know what I mean? Like they don't, they don't really sell it like that. Now maybe like the AutoZone hub or the O'Reilly's hub will, like that's where we went last time when we were working on the trunk setup was an O'Reilly's hub, but like the regular O'Reilly's and like Walmart and stuff like that, they're not gonna have the airline that you need. So make sure you know where they sell airline and how far it is from you. Because when my airline blew on the trunk setup, when we were first working on the trunk setup, me and my girlfriend literally had to go, well fiance now, at the time girlfriend, had to go to one of the 18 wheeler stores and legit we sat there for about six hours for literally less than a foot of airline so just make sure you know where they sell it at bro and you should be straight but without further ado y'all those have been the five things that you guys should know before bagging your car man um the bags do blow you do need to have some extra airline handy um just be ready for the compressor noise. You can definitely go single or dual. In my personal opinion, the single is perfectly fine for everyday driving, nothing too crazy. I mean, you're not sitting there going up, down, up, down, up, down every, you know what I mean? If you're doing that, then you're gonna blow your compressor. And yeah, man, without further ado, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.